Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Please take this moment now with helping me. Click here, subscribe. Next, click this bill. Next, ensure to click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Next, click this thumbs up button. After every time you watch my video, this pushes it up in the engagement ratings and means it will be suggested to more people, therefore it's likely to get more views to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. I also have a Patreon page. Click show more. Scroll down. This link here, my Patreon, click on it. Select a membership. With this membership, you'll get access to all this information. Very good content. It's Friday, April 9th, 2.08 p.m. New York time. We're gonna be discussing financials. The banks next week have earnings. Yep, earnings for these stocks. So banks like high interest rates. Some of us don't if you're carrying debt. So we're gonna look at the yields first and higher yields, higher interest rates. Here we go looking at the 30 year, year to date, the momentum has been to the upside, so it's been going higher. Higher yields, higher interest rates. Happy campers that own banks or maybe the bank stocks. So right now it's in a consolidation. And that's fine too. Because likelihood the interest rates are not going lower. And looking here at the 10-year, same thing. Momentum's to the upside. It's in a consolidation. And the five-year, look at that. For the week, all-time new high. Yes, each of these candles make a week. So today is Friday. So today the candle is going to be completed. And we're at an all time high for year to date for the five year. So the likelihood we can expect these to go higher in the near future. Hmm. And the fixed income, your bonds, your notes, they trade inverse. So they're going lower. Let's look at the, some of the stuff that has earnings. You could go to this website too. If you don't have a trading platform that shows you the earnings, it's called earningswhispers.com. Go to calendar. So next week have earnings. On the 14th, here's some big banks. JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, First Republic Bank. Those are huge banks. On the 15th, Bank of America, Citigroup. BlackRock, Trust Financial, U.S. Bank Corp, Home Bank Shares, yeah, big, big banks. And let's see, Friday, Morgan Stanley, PNC Bank, uh, Financial, State Street, Bank of New York, Citizens First. Wow. So next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, big earnings, big earnings. And if you use the Thinkorswim desktop trading platform, also called TOSS, you can see earnings too. You click on the tab that says Market Watch. Click on the tab that says Calendar. Put a check mark next to earnings. And I have already selected the 14th here. So it's AM and PM. Yep. So several of these banks are going to do their earnings before the market opens, several after. Let's start looking at the banks. We'll start off with the financial assets. And as we go through each one, take note, has it made a new high for the year? And is it trending? So BlackRock, all time new high for the year. And it's trending, strong like bull. Yeah, interesting. And the earnings are on the 15th before the market opens. So if you're bullish, go ahead and buy one stock share right now. $806.71. It might be a discount, it might be a bargain right now. If you're bullish, it could go higher. Bravo Alpha Mike, 
it's in a consolidation. It's not trending. It's just shy of the all-time high. Bank of New York, all-time high for the year. It's trending. Earnings are the 16th before the market opens. Blackstone Group, all-time new high. Outstanding. It's trending. Earnings are the 22nd before the market opens. T. Rowe Price, all-time new high. State Street, I already showed you they're going to have earnings soon. They're in a consolidation just shy of all-time high. And their earnings are the 16th before the market opens. Okay. On to the next. We'll look at the financial banks, the diversified kind. Mm -hmm. JP Morgan, in a consolidation just short of the all, shy of the all time high. I already showed you I had earnings on the earnings whisper webpage. So here it's going to show me also to let me know the earnings are before the market opens on the 14th. Are you bullish JP Morgan? Why not buy here? If you're a bargain shopper, is this your bargain price? Bank of New York, all time high, interesting, all time high, and it's already red for the day. Plus, it has earnings soon. The momentum, the 15th before the market opens. Hotel Sierra Bravo Charlie, up. Oh, it's in a consolidation. It's not at all time high, shy of it. And also, notice the past three weeks, the trading range is getting smaller. I wonder if that's distribution of smart money selling. Are they having problems? Need to dig deeply into that, be concerned. That's not looking good. Whiskey, Foxtrot, Charlie, Wells Fargo. In a consolidation. Also, I showed you they have earnings on the 14th before the market opens. Hmm. They were a problem child last year. One of the worst performing financials. And now they're taking off like a rocket ship. Drug test them. Do they have a new CEO, CFO? Drug test them. Citigroup, just shy of all-time high in exhalation. Also have earnings soon. Mm -hmm. Before the market opens on the 15th. Royal Bank of Canada, Romeo Yankee. It's in a consolidation. Yep, wow. That looks like smart money selling, institution money selling. I would consider trading this short if I was to trade this and earn money on the downside. Yep, very interesting like that. Distribution, okay. Have you heard of options? You could trade options. So let's see if I'm bearish, I could buy puts. So the stock's at 93.06. And look, the bid and ask are penny wide. That's really good. 93.06, so if I'm bearish, I think the stock's gonna go lower. And let's just take, for example, a strike price that's below 93. So there's a strike price 90. So I could buy the ask, because when you buy, you buy at the ask. When you're selling, you sell at the bid. And the 90 is $80. Take note, $80 today on the 9th of April. So if you pay 80 bucks, for one contract, and if the stock goes lower, the value of this will go higher, taking consideration time decay. Yep. How much that could be worth? It could be worth a few dollars, a few hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars. Again, depends how far down this goes, how fast it goes down before expiration 21 May. But what I don't like is how wide the spread is between that. I don't like that. That's not what I like. Just remember that trade I there I showed you. Okay. Takeaway here is most of them are not here at the all time high, except this one is and it's selling off. Interesting. That's a clue to me. Okay, on to the next. The smaller regional banks. USB, all time high. Mm hmm. Small. Trading range for the week. Interest could be distribution. HDB. Okay, consolidation broke down. Bad child. Tango Foxtrot Charlie. It's in a consolidation. Looks like maybe institution selling also. Interesting. Papa November Charlie. I showed you they have earnings coming up soon. 
and they're in a consolidation, not trending. Interesting. What do I find interesting? Is that a lot of them look like they might be under distribution. The smart money may be selling. They were the nice child of the year, all running up all time highs. But maybe there's sector rotation again. What does sector rotation means? When people manage other people's money, they leave a sector, maybe like this one, the financials, and go into something like the hot tech stocks, if the hot tech stocks are rallying again. Maybe so. Wow. IBN. Consolidation broke down, running down, running away from its all time high, struggling. And Foxtrot, Romeo Charlie. It's in a consolidation. Yep, so some of these expect to still continue outperforming for the year. And we have other ones that may be neglected. Mm hmm. They go on the sideways. Okay, let's look at the financial capital markets now. Morgan Stanley, I already told you they have earnings. They were in acceleration, broke down, and back above the high of last week, still struggling off its all time high. They have earnings soon. Charles Schwab, the owner of TD Ameritrade Broker. Yep, they bought the broker. This trading platform I'm using, Think or Swim, also called Toss. Is owned by TD Ameritrade, which got bought out by Charles Schwab. Look at that. They hit an all-time high for the year. Outstanding. And it's already red. Yeah. So if you bought the high, you're underwater already. Hopefully the momentum continues going higher. Goldman Sachs. It's in a consolidation. Coming to earnings. Bank of Nova Scotia. It's in a consolidation. It's going lower, low, small trading range. And the other bank I showed you was also Canada. I guess there's some po policy going on. Might have to dig deeper to know what the fundamentals are or what's happening in Canada. These stocks from Canada, the banks, the financials look like they're under distribution. Hmm. IBKR. It's in a consolidation. Not looking so good. Romeo, Juliet, Foxtrot, Raymond, James Financial. Tampa Bay Financial Institution, home of the Super Bowl champions of this year. All-time new high, the momentum's to the upside, and it's already red. Hmm. Financial credit services. Have you used credit cards in the past? Do you use them currently? What's your interest rate on them? Look at the visa. It's an acceleration. Wide trading range. Mm -hmm. Coming to earnings in two. On the 26th, sorry, on the 27th, after the market closes, they're post of earnings. MasterCard, looks like similar to Visa. Big trading range in acceleration. PayPal, a rock star from last year. And this year, struggling. Yeah, a lot of whipsaw this year they made. But they finally broke out of this consolidation, going higher. So strong like bull right now. Maybe the momentum will continue. About time they're catching up. American Express, it's an acceleration. Capital One Financial, just shy of all time high. Discover credit card in acceleration. Let's go on to the next. The insurance companies, Oof. yeah, AIG in a consolidation. Sun Life Financial in a consolidation, might be smart money selling there. The Hartford Financial Services, looks like it's struggling. Principal Financial, all-time new high here, small trading range, mm -hmm. might be a rotation, smart money may be selling there. Very interesting, that little dodgy up there, okay. Goff, Sierra Hotel, Delta. It's a bad child. Wow. Far away from all-time high. And American National Group. Underperforming. Okay. Thank you, as always, for spending just a little bit of your time with me. Let me know what you thought about this video. And please let me know what you want to see next. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below 
and clicking on my PayPal link, you can leave a small tip. If you don't want to share financial support, no problem. Just click the like and subscribe.